Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I know that for a fact, because I know what we're fixing to do, but you can see behind me, we are down here at Heavy Metal. If you're not subscribed to my buddy, Heavy Metal Paul, go down and click subscribe to his channel. He's got tons of awesome videos, just like we do over here. Make sure you're subscribed to the Hootie Hoo channel, but down here at Heavy Metal, it's raining outside, we can't hit the range. That means we probably got in a new bing bang. Paul called me and said, you gotta get down here. Let's run inside and see what we got. I'm super excited. All right, coming into the shop. Y'all that watch the channel know Paul is normally either sitting right there or he's in the shop, but he's not feeling well today. So y'all say a prayer for my buddy heavy made of Paul that he feels better real quick. But I know he already laid it out on the table. So look at this, we got a box. Oh, CZ USA Field Sports. Judging from this picture, you can probably take a guess at what is in this box. But, can I open this up with one hand? I don't know. Let me open this up and we'll be right back. All right, I had to have two hands to undo these latches. You know that's pretty fancy pants if it comes in a case and not a cardboard box. But, we got some papers in there, CZ USA. Got some bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. We got a box. That's probably got some choke tubes in it. Sure does. It's got four choke tubes in it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And they're even labeled. That, that's something that kind of drives me nuts when you get these and they're not labeled. This says full. This one says IMP mod. IMP cylinder so i guess that's improved modified improved cylinder and then cylinder pretty cool pretty pretty cool but we're not here to look at the choke tubes we're looking here to see what's the main part of this box what else is in here that must that's your uh, little tool for the chokes pretty nifty little thing there then this bad boy's in a sock that's always a good thing got to protect the main Part of the rig here. Oh man, that's nice. Look at that wood. It's hard to get wood like that anymore without paying a fortune for it. But surprisingly enough, this CZ is not incredibly expensive. There's the main part of it. Look at even the, the foregrip there. If I can get it in the light. Look at that wood, guys. Man. Super, super nice wood. But let's uh Let's move it over here, down here, directly under some light so we can get some good light on it. And see what see what all's in this thing. Somebody said you should have had it in good light from the start. Yeah, that would have taken too much thinking. But here's that wood again. Get that grain without the glare on it. Super, super nice. This is green, if you can tell in this lighting. It's almost like an olive drab, but not quite there. Then that real nice wood up front too. It's got the knurling pattern on it. Super, super sweet. And then in this, most surely, is the barrel. And yep, there she blows. Is the barrel? Yeah, the barrel's got that green too, man. How cool is that? But let me slap this all uh, here and I'll show you real quick again. All right, there we have it, guys. There's a quick look. Pretty, pretty sweet. She's a looker. And I don't think I told you yet already. This is a CZ 1012. There we go. Semi auto. The test I like to do for the semi autos is I like to find some of the cheapest shells I can find and just see if it'll run them. So let's take the CZ out real quick and see if it'll run it. It's raining outside, but I think we can still stay dry just for a second, see if it'll run some of the cheap shells. Our first time ever getting this thing out. All right, guys, so out at the range, and wouldn't you know it, the one day that I decide to do some 12-gauge stuff, I forgot to bring the shells. But I did find I had this on me, so we're going to do some buckshots. Is that the right way? Can you all read it? But buckshots I had on me, hey, we're going to see if it'll run buckshot. So let me show you this out here. Now that we're in the daylight, I really like that color. That's a cool color. And it's got really nice wood. The CZs, I don't care what you're talking about. They are 
vastly underrated in my opinion. They're very affordable for what you get out of it. And hey, I'm a big fan. Every CZ I've ever picked up, I have liked. Go check out CZ. You might be surprised at how inexpensive they are for the quality you get. But hey, that's my spiel on CZ. We've had a whole lot of uh, CZ Bing Bangs come through. I can't remember one that I did not like. But before my glasses fog up too much, let me uh, load up some of this buckshot. I'll put three in here. Here's that buckshot. You can see it down in there. I'm leaving the little stick in this one because we might be doing some waterfowl hunting here. So I'm leaving the stick in there. Now the controls on this baby. Been a minute since I had the old uh, 12 are out. Seems really smooth so far. Let's, uh, let's just see if she runs right here. Squeeze them off as fast as I can. Alright. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Let's put three more in there. We're going to have to do a test with the cheap stuff because I always love to do that. Buckshot normally will run just about anything. But let's load up three more here. See if I can actually hit something. We've got a... Uh, Steel silhouette up there at 50 yards. Let me see if I can tag him. I'll show you here real quick. Well, up there on the hill, I'm going to zoom it in so you guys can see him and we'll be able to see if I hit anything. See if I can get that guy. He's already got a couple hits on him, but see if we can get him there with that buckshot at 50 yards. I think we tagged them with one there on the right hand side. Oh, I missed him. Where are we hitting guys? Oh, we we're a little low before I think. Let me load up some more. That stuff is spreading pretty good. I've got the cylinder bore choked in here. Let's move it over to some targets where I can see the hits better. All right, there's some green plates. That's about 40 yards or so. I think I can see the hits better and see where I'm missing. I'm going to hold the center one. Oh, we got him. Got him with one or two there, so it's on when I do my part. I think we might have hit that one real good there in the center. Let's go for the one on the right there. That one went a shade high, but hey, she runs. But there you have it, guys. It's my new CZ 12 gauge semi auto. It's got that real nice wood. I really like that green finish. CZ seems to be so far some really good quality for not a whole lot of moolahs. But I'm going to get in the house out of this rain. We're going to bring this back to the range real soon, but comment down below. What do you guys think about CZ? Do you have any of these CZ 12 gauge bing bangs? Let me know what you think about them. But we're going to get out of this rain. Appreciate y'all watching big time. Make sure you're subscribed. Tons more videos on the way. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -hoo.